So uh, given the beginning of your presentation, you talked about predictable outcomes. There was a debate, obviously, on Ethereum about you know, spirit of the rule versus letter mm -hmm. of the law. If and when Bitcoin does get to a situation where there needs to be a soft or hard fork, would you still stand by the predictable outcomes immutability side? Yes, I would. In fact, I have repeatedly, and I think we've seen a difference in the in the Bitcoin culture. Um, the the idea, of, for example, hard forking to recover the Bitfinex theft, or before that, the empty Gox thread, it was maybe discussed by a few people, but immediately shot down by the majority of the community. Um, I think. I think it's fair to say that Ethereum got a mulligan. Uh, and because it's still here one, maybe that can be a one-off that has no precedent-centric power, and the culture hardens. The problem with saying code is law is that law has centuries of refinement, iteration, and hardening to reach the point where it is today. Every word in law carries two or three centuries of precedent-setting decisions that have defined all of the exceptions and parameters around that very word. And if you make smart contracts, or as I like to call them now, strong contracts, because they offer hard promises, then those are not going to be perfect. You take them, you put them into production, you run them at scale against agents, both benevolent and malicious with money at stake, honeypots, effectively, and they will get hacked, and iterated, and strengthened, and hacked again, and iterated, and strengthened. And eventually, they won't be hacked, because they'll get robust. So, just as law has advanced through iteration, code can advance through iteration. And what does that mean? That means you don't put $150 million in a contract that's never been tested in real terms because you just created a hundred and fifty million dollar honeypot on a brand new platform and someone came away with a honey. Um, but we learned a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> so investor beware applies in these environments. We have this unique opportunity right now to test at scale with real actors, with real money, systems that have been never tested before. That is an incredible opportunity. And on the way, bad things will happen. You don't get to the moon without a few blown up rockets on the way. Failure is an option. In fact, when you remove the possibility of failure, you remove the possibility of success.